I've had these in storage for about 25 years. This bridge is actually a tower. I'm going to try to build a 40 to 50 foot tower with guy wires out of it. I'm going to order a couple hundred of each piece. My 4500 connects parts that I got on eBay finally came in the mail. This is going to be my replica of the big blue crane that fell on Miller Park when they were building it in 1999. And this is going to be my 45 foot guide tower that I'm going to build. After weighing all of the tower sections, the scale says I'm limited to about 45 feet in height that the tower structure can hold. Although I'm going to have to fix this flimsy bottom, I tested a section of the tower to see how much it would hold. And then I equaled that weight on the scale to see how long the tower could be made. But I did not test it on this flimsy piece. What I'm going to do is tie the guy wire to the anchor. And then I'm going to run it through here and run it through here. And back down to this side. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I can stand on one side of the tower and pull both guy wires tight at the same time. Guy wires keep the tower from being considered a freestanding structure. Alone this tower is very flimsy. But the guy wires are used to keep it straight. You just strategically place the guy wires to keep the tower from bending and flexing in the wind. With this structure, I'm going to have to put them about every five feet. The highest guy wires go the farther out from the structure, and the lower they are, the closer they get. There's a lot more force and leverage on this end than that one down there. What I mean by leverage is the wind pushing on it. I have these lopping shears and this pool pole that I'm going to use to erect the tower with. While I have the pole supporting the entire weight of the tower, that's when I'm going to tie all the guy wires. And then when all the guy wires are properly tightened, I'm going to remove the poles. What I'd really like to get is a 45 foot stick for pool and power line fuses. So I could support the tower with that while I put, put, put all the guy wires on it. I want to do all this from on the ground without climbing any ladders. I'm probably going to have to wear a hard hat too. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And there's what I did the past couple days. These are actually tower sections from over there that I stuck on the crane.